Transformers 80s till now. Today we are going to repair a swoop. This is a G1 swoop. As you can see, I've already repaired one. I actually completed this one from what I had pieces together. I got it back together and completed it out. Um, with this one, I really didn't have to do much to it. Um, other than, as you can see, one of them I had, I had with just one hand. Um, what else was it? I had the beak had busted on the side. This beak here is perfect. The beak that I busted on the side, see if you guys can see this. I actually did repair it on the side here. And also right here, we'll show that. Right there, I actually glued this piece here is busted all the way across and it would no longer hold the beak. I've actually glued them back together, re-put the, the little piece of metal back through it, or rivet, whatever you want to call it, and it's back in working order. This here I'm just putting together for my son. I'm not really too concerned about condition-wise. If it was something I was going to try to resell or something, I'd worry about it being more sturdy and more, uh, you know, more perfect anyways here's his head here I do have his head so he's gonna have one with a head and have only one arm on him till I can find another arm but I'm gonna show you now how to put the head in what the uh, a lot of times uh, you'll end up getting them if you see them on eBay or something they will not have the pin in them if you see here a lot of times I use these little nails that's all it is just a nail I'll cut it to fit Sometimes you might need one a little bit longer, something like that. But in this case here, as a, well, I do want to have chrome on anything that I'm remaking to, to get it back to uh, re to get it back to a, a working order and looking complete G1. I would want it to be this chrome. But today I'm gonna have to use one of these nails. It's the only thing I can find right now to actually be that size. So. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut this one down and I'm going to show you how I'm, how I'm going to do that. Get a pair of snips or something that actually have a little catch place there to cut with. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut it. Oh no, we lost it! What do we do now? And as you can see, I found it. But what we are going to do, as you can see I've cut it so it's flat on the one side. I now need to decide on my length that I need. And there's my length. And we're going to cut it for that length. I don't know. I think I can get it cut without. There, there we go. I got it. And let's make sure. So you can see. Pretty much it should be about that size to fit. Let's see now. If we are at about the length that we need. Hold it a different way. And I think that will do. Alrighty. I've already pre-set it. Or pre-checked to see if it would fit. It will fit through his neck. I just hope it fits good enough. Because I had the two different swoops. They were two different sizes. I'm not sure if that's because of a mold issue that they had. But they were two different sizes. They weren't completely identical to one another. But anyways, let's go ahead. We'll get this done. And I will place his head in here. Make sure that the head lines up so you can see the hole there. And you just take and re-slide that piece of metal back in. And we're getting a little bit further in there.
and I have it in. Now, the moment of truth. It work, it works. See, it worked fine. So as you can see, here's a G1 swoop with his head replaced back on now. He will actually completely transform and everything. Something looks crooked about him. I don't know. I'm looking at it. Might be the way the table. I'm looking at the table. But there he is. And I ain't the only thing wrong with this one. He will transform into the bird. His head won't hold up that well. His head flops back and forth. See, his head will still fall down some. But, hey, it's life. No, no, don't fall. As you can see, he still will transform into the bird. Well, the other thing he was missing is wheel. He actually has the uh, piece in the middle there, but he is missing the wheel, so he don't really have the wheel. But other than that. There's another G1 swoop. So I took the one. I actually completed this one. I'll show you this one here just to show you. I'll sit that off to the side there. As he's standing here watching me, I know he's dying to play with it because I got it finished. So we'll get we'll hurry this video up so he can have his swoop to play with now. But to show you that I did complete this one and that he is in working order. Now he is a little tight there where his screws are. I put, I reset them screws in there. I may have to loosen them up some. Let's see where we're at. There we go. And then you take and fold his wheel down. Make sure he's got enough room for his head to go in. So you don't break it. That's where I think a lot of problems came into play with the swoops is because they would go to lay it down and wouldn't make sure the head would fit in. But it's like in there. It's like in there, bring his foot around, fold his wing back. There you have it. There's my complete swoop. The only thing I'm missing on him is his guns. I have everything else complete with him though. But like I said, this here. Oh no, they falling. They said this here, just a nail like this. These can be used perfectly for replacing those rods that go in your screws. I mean, to go in your might go in the wing. And there's some there in the wing. That one's not actually long enough, but it is good enough. You get a little bit longer one. But, anyways, we're going to go ahead and go. Remember, subscribe, like, and we'll see you guys later.